a little bit differently. I think men and women work very differently. I think men, um, and I mean like not, I'm not generalizing, but in people that function from their masculine energy tend to look outwards in, in terms of their dislike and disdain. And women tend to look inwards or fem like people that work from their feminine energy tend to look inwards and think it's me that's the problem. Why can't I just fix myself to love it? Why can't I stick this out for longer? Why can't I fix this problem? And, and, and for both sides, I think it's really, really simple. It, it's, the realization that you don't like it but you can do something about it and not getting yourself into a negative place but getting yourself into a constructive place where yes you wake up every single day yes you go to a job that you don't like yes you work with people that you don't like but it's temporary if you go home and you read another book, you've done something for you. If you go home and make a business plan, you've done something for you. If you go home and figure out where you're going to spend your summer's golfing, like you've done something for you. Those are the things that light you up and will keep you going for a hell of a lot longer. And it's in that in between of I don't know what I want to do is where you hire me <laughs> and we figure it out together. <laughs> And we take take that type of a journey because some people don't know. Some people just get stuck in that. I don't like this and I have no idea where to go from here. And that's a really tough, sticky place to be. But knowing that there is another side to this and that you can find something that you love to do and that does fulfill you is, is a completely new level of you. Do you help them to master that energy? Because what if some of us don't know which energy is um, is inside of it at that point? Because it's not a, it's not like it's energy for a man, energy for a woman. It's your masculine energy, which allows you to see things outwardly. And it's your feminine energy, which allows you to see things inwardly. How do you help people master that type of energy and identify the energy that they have? So to speak really generally your masculine energy is your go 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 it's your organizing it's your doing energy your feminine energy is your flow energy so if, if things feel right it works off of your creative side so it's it's really about finding those things that you really love to do for hours and hours and the only way to um figure that out is to really sit with yourself and see like does being on the ball and having your every single hour planned out work for you or does it feel better to wake up and do your to-do list and see what emotions and what feelings you're sitting in and work with those throughout your day and it's it's I mean there's always two camps but you always have to have a little bit of a a little bit of both because we all need we all need to get our shit done every single day we can't <laughs> sit in our like emotional beings but it is about how to utilize both for the best of you. And yes, that is something I support with because I think the way that I structured my business and the way that I built my business is from my intuition. And I think that is what makes me so much more powerful and building that deeper connectivity with myself and understanding how my intuition works and how to tap into it is super, super powerful. So is it, um, because you mentioned the two energies and you made a, a good example, is it as simple, and I'm generalizing here because I don't want to say that it's a simple process because it definitely yeah. isn't, <laughs> um, but is it as simple as saying, this is the type of energy I need at this moment, and this is the type of energy I don't need, and then you move accordingly to how the situation dictates your day, your week, your month, and ultimately your life? It's about which energy you find to be more helpful. <clears throat> so I I remember there's an amazing, amazing book and it's called The 5am Club by Robin Sharma. And the book is amazing. The storytelling, the writing is beautiful. And after reading it, I really wanted to be that person that woke up at 5am and read for an hour, journaled for an hour, meditated for an hour, did some form of a workout. Like the, I think the book breaks it down into 20 minutes each, but I think I wanted to be that person and then start my day off in such a constructive way. But I'm not that type of person. I don't wake up at 5am. It just doesn't work for me or my body or, or 
as I am. I love waking up around seven and doing all of those same things. And that's okay because I work better at 10, 11 at night. I'm still wired and still going and I can still create at 10, 11 o'clock at night. So that works better for me. If I go to bed at midnight and wake up at seven, that's a pattern that works with my body. That's a pattern that works with my brain. I'm still functioning. I'm not needing to take naps or eat or drink um, energy drinks. I'm really good in that side. So it's about figuring out who you are and if you would rather work on things that are creative or if you work better with a to-do list it's entirely up to you but things that support your journey and support the way you learn and the way you grow are not necessarily what everybody else is doing it is a very much a personal journey <laughs> I'm gonna go to the